Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 52 of my RPG Maker series. Last time I worked on the boss event for the pyramid, as well as walking through some of the changes, most of the changes I made to the enemies that I made in the episode before that. Uh, yeah, I walked back quite a bit of what I did the first time. But uh, I think all the changes were for the better. So let's dive in. Let's not waste any more time. And uh, I can work on getting some items set up for this episode. So the first thing I want to get into is this whole event here where he changes form. Part of me wants to just jump straight to the crazed look of this checkbox. The opening cinematic, if you want to call it that, the opening movie will have the regular version of this guy, the him, not this puppet, but uh, him come into this room and get possessed by the evil in the coffin, the sarcophagus. The only reason I'm thinking about changing it is because it seems weird to me that he would start out normal, do this animation here to change into the second version, and then when the boss fight starts, have a third form. Um, unless I wanted to do... I mean, I still want him to change, but instead of changing his appearance from normal person to creepy dude, I want him to start creepy and then change into a... change images, basically. Um, where is... No, I need to look at the actual event and come down through here and find what I'm looking for. Um, the problem is there's not a whole lot of four-legged winged monstrosities that I can pull from uh, I think there's big monsters. Yeah, see, there's this uh, demon thing that rises up out. There's the big guy here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so you know how I made the, the Guardian right before the boss, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'll just use the cloaked form because blah, blah, blah. I've got the Guardian right here. I can just stick him in. There it is. This is what... Okay, yes. He does exist. So, that's a change I'm thinking I'm going to go for. We'll start with the creepy guy. I'll have the animation come in and change the image to Big Bad Monster. Uh, and since he'll be right here, he'll fit right there. And then we initiate the fight. Um, which means normal form of sagacious will only really exist at the beginning of the game. But that's okay. So I'm going to change, basically, him into this version. Um, I I'm also going to change the text, then, because he's not trying to pretend to be the posh, proper dude when he looks like this. Also, uh... Let's see, where is it? You have the pleasure to be speaking to the body of Sagacious Lee. Really doesn't need to be there uh, if he's not pretending to be somebody else. So, yeah. Uh, we can also change this because we don't need him to change into an actor. Actually, let me cut it and add something new. I might need to set up a switch to change the image of this or change the event image for this event. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me also change this appearance because he's not normal now. He's this version. Not that you can tell from the back, but when he turns around, he can. Uh, okay, so uh, that's that. That's what I'll I'll work on that. Uh, but that's a change I'm going for. Let's go to the items. What am I going to put in here? I want items that aren't available in the shop yet. 
the metal treasure chests, these ones, will have status protection, status cures, healing, mana recovery, things like that. Um, I also want to include gear that might be one of a kind. I want a good balance, because when they finish fighting the boss here in the pyramid and head back to head back to town and drive out the military presence i want the vendors to sell new items some of it will be stuff that's sold in the next town over i think that's how i want to play it let's do a mantle um so it should be no um weapon type oh wait I'm in weapons and not armor. Let's do a... You know, I haven't really thought about what the other knowledge classes will use. I like alchemist. But we need something else besides dagger. Alright. We'll do that. Weapon type. Claw. Price. I'll leave that blank for now. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it blank for now. Let's do claw... Let's do Claw Ice. Yes! The Ice Fist. No, I probably, I'll probably won't call it Ice Fist. I'll probably have some skills that are like Element Fist. Let's, um... I got it. Isotoners. Sure. Uh, we'll have a pithy description. Attack, defense, blah, blah, blah. Magic attack. That's what I want. I want a little bit of attack. Let's see... It's been a while since I've made... What was the ritual dagger? Attack 15, magic attack 6. So, that was the area before this one. Um, let's make them attack 17. These claws will go with a knowledge class that's for Joan, I'm thinking. And it'll be equal parts magic and physical attack. But because it's Joan, it, she does more damage. All of her classes will be more damage focused. Uh, magic defense, I'm not going to worry about just yet. Agility, yeah, alright. So, do agility 8. Luck, I'll give her some luck with that. Yeah, since she's... She's really the lightning bruiser of the group. Uh, max HP, max MP. Nah, not really worried about that. Uh, ice, okay. All right, attack plus one, seal, shield. Uh, shield, good. And, you know, I had seal, shield, Back before I made bracers, the shield slot for certain classes. It's just now that there is a shield equipment slot that's bracers specifically for the light armor classes. I don't know if I need this, but on the other hand, it's a trade off with how many times per turn you can attack, right? So maybe. I actually want to get rid of this. Thank you. Hit rate up. I don't know. Uh, I feel like the daggers should have hit rate up. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's fine. Uh, the the claws get one extra attack. The daggers get a hit rate up. Or maybe I give that to the whips. Um, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Attack element ice, blah, blah, blah. Some extra damage. Some extra magic. Yeah, okay. Um, those will be the only ice claws. So, what is that? 24? Apply. And we'll stick them in the front here. Uh, let's see what else. They go upstairs to the second floor. And they fight this guy. They go up stairs again they fight these guys and then two down this one red 
Um, we've got plenty of gear in the armor section, so let's keep going with the weapons. Uh, for red, I want to give them something big and damaging, but something that every member of the battle class can use. So let's go with an axe, I think. This axe is going to be two-handed. So we will seal shields. What if we give it something special? Like uh, when it's equipped, you're raging? No, 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 no. That's much too horrible. That's, <laughs> that's much too horrible for the player. Why not just... No, no, no. But it could inflict a status ailment. Well, we could. I guess we could do that. When you hit an enemy, it has a chance to fear them. A 10% chance to fear the enemy. Okay. Uh, what else? What makes this axe better than the Tramahawk? Why would a class, why would a player use it? I could do counterattack. Oh, I could do counterattack. All right. 5% chance to counterattack if an enemy hits the player. All right. That, that's a small enough amount that I'm comfortable with, but it also gives an option or it gives an advantage to the player for sticking with a battle class. Uh, I also want to give it a name real quick. Uh, Great X. Yeah, I mean, pretty standard, but that's what this weapon is. So that's fine for now. Let's see here. Attack 27, agility. I'm going to lower the agility just a little. Um, well, that might not be a little enough, but I am, I am causing them some grief by losing a shield. So I don't want to go too heavy on the agility. Plus, as a battle class... They're probably wearing heavy armor, which lowers their agility anyways. Uh, let's see here. Max HP, I think, will go up. No, no, no. I'll stay away from max HP and max MP for weapons. That's armor. That's defensive stuff. So, that's fine. Counterattack has a chance to fear an enemy. Good, 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 good. All right. Found in... Found in the pyramid, but do I want to do I want this to be a weapon sold in Naho? I think that's fine. They come down here, they go downstairs, down to here, and the green one. Okay. That's skill. At this point in the game, only Joan should have it. So I think maybe what I want to do is give her an armor. Something uh, something pretty good for her that can last for a while. A ring or an accessory of some kind that boosts speed or uh, evasion or something. Let's see here. Boots. We've already got quite a few. Bracers for defense. Wide-brimmed hat. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of rings or necklaces or anything like that. Hmm. Leather vest, wide-brimmed hat. Oh, maybe a belt or something. What well, would make a good addition to Jones gear? What would you name a hat? Or a circlet? Or a wrist wear? We have the boots here already. Maybe some gloves for her as a separate piece of gear. But then I don't know what I would call it. Snakeskin gloves? Uh, I don't know. I want to use this for the image. Armor type. What am I going to call you and what are you benefit are you going to provide? Uh, what, about, what about increased crit chance, right? Let's look at what we can actually get from here. Uh, state resist, I suppose, we could do. Um, but what would it give us for resistance? What makes sense for gloves? Um, they could increase attack speed a bit. I might be okay with that. Really, though, the that's kind of 
That's kind of what a boot would do, I think. Um, I guess so it could add a skill. Oh! No, if I was gonna have if I was gonna have accessories that added skill types or added skills to players, they'd be they'd be a very specific type of item, like a a pendant or a gem, or it, it would be named a specific category. Uh, so we'll stay away from that. I could also have TP charge. Oh, that would be valuable for any of the physical attackers. Anybody who uses TP. These gloves would be... Yes. Yes, I like that. Okay, TP charge rate. Um, Let's see. The default value is 100. So giving them a slight bonus. It's like regeneration, right? In the early parts of the game... You want those values to be small. Enough that the player wants to use it, but not enough that it's overpowered. Um, so how about... A hundred and... Let's do 125%. Sure. 25% more than normal. I'm okay with that. Um, as well, I think I'm going to increase... Yeah, I might regret this, but I think I'm going to increase the crit chance. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'll increase the target rate rather than the hit rate. Yeah, all right. But uh, this will be a small boost, like 105%. There we go. All right. Um, What am I going to name them? And name them something good. It's gotta be clever. It's gotta be witty. It's gotta get the idea of what they do across. Precision gloves. Yeah. I don't think that works with what TP is, really. If I was gonna go with uh, increased crit rate. But at the moment. I guess I could call them just charge gloves. Yeah, you know what? I'll just call them charge gloves. That's that's fine. Um, is that all they do? Yeah, I mean they're they're an accessory. They they don't need to boost all of everything like gear does. Um, all right. So that's that one. Save again. Go upstairs. Uh, another one over here, but before we get there, we have this over here. That's fine. Uh, I'll leave that blank. Uh, so we've got this yellow one. So yellow, Faith, the only person who's got that right now, is Elizabeth. And by the time we get to the other three players having a Faith class... Whatever's in that yellow box will probably be obsolete. So maybe we want another accessory. Let's see here. Pain, dagger, bow, bracers, rings. Maybe a ring. What do we have in the armor section? We've got the ice ring. We've got the ruby ring. Oh, I think that's it for rings. We could have something that protects against dark. Yes, because the boss is going to have dark magic. We should have a ring that protects against it, right? Right. So we'll do a ring. Is that the same thing I used for the other two? Yes, good. Um, it'll protect against darkness, so let's bring that up. Um, rate and... Darkness, we're not going to drop it to zero, but it's not going to be 100% either. Um, we want to protect against darkness, so maybe 10% damage reduction? What do you think? 10%? Seems like a little. Seems like a little. But then again, I mean, if you hit, if the enemy hits you for 200... 10% damage reduction is not great. But if it... Uh, I don't know. 
I don't want it to be too powerful. 50 is too powerful. Let's do... Let's do 15%. Sure. Does that make them vulnerable? 15%? The higher the value, the greater the weakness against the element. 100% is normal, is average. Um, I, I think... All right, I can't do negative 15. I don't know... I don't know if this is giving defense against the element by dropping it below 100. I'm assuming 100 is base for everybody. If I want to go over 100, it makes them more vulnerable. And if I go below 100, it makes them less vulnerable. So 15 would make them almost in, in that regard 15 would make them almost completely immune i don't know if i want to do that maybe maybe i should drop it down to like 85 i'll have to test it because i don't know exactly how this is working is a hundred percent 100 percent over the normal amount of damage are they fully vulnerable to it or is that normal for everybody and going over 100 is excess damage. Um, it should probably also increase max MP a little. I'm all right with that. Uh, we'll do 50, because I think at this point in the game, their, their levels should be high enough where 50 is not a big deal, but it is helpful. We'll call it the Sun Ring, because we have Ruby Ring, but we also have Cooler Ring. The rings don't really have to follow any kind of naming convention. I was going to make them all gems or jewels or precious stones, but I abandoned that pretty quick. Uh, Sun Ring protects against darkness. This one I think we'll have for sale all over the world. The, the rings and most of... A lot, not most. A lot of the other accessories after they're findable the first time in a chest should be on sale in the later stores. I think that's good. Let's move on. What else do we got here? Another chest. I think that's it for the chests in this zone. So I need to change him. I'm going to change him. Uh, let me cut, paste, and then edit to... The big guy. And this one. There we go. Apply. Good. He's four squ- Ah, I hope he doesn't clip in here. I might have to move him over. Next floor. We've got this red one here. What else? What else? What else? That's it for this floor. And then... We have... Another blue, and that's it for that. Okay, so a red and a blue I need. Maybe I want to remove that. Maybe I want another yellow instead of that red. That second red. What am I going to do for the blue, though? We'll do a wizard's hat. Sure. Head. We want light armor. Head. And then what? It should increase magic attack. I'm just going to put a value in right now. Uh, it should increase magic defense. I'm also just going to put a value in. I know there's a special name for these types of hats. And I'll put that in instead when I look it up. But uh, maybe I should... Let me look. Let me look at what we can do here. Debuff rate, state resist, none of that. Parameter. I guess we could do max MP. I mean, we're already changing the parameters over here, but what if we changed them more? Ah, it's all right. It's all right. We don't need to worry about that. Magic evasion, magic reflection. I want... I want an accessory that does magic reflection. But uh, for this hat... Yeah, I want an accessory that does MP regeneration as well, so we'll leave that alone. Uh, what else? MP cost rate. We could decrease MP cost rate. 
but I'm not going to. Um, attack element, well, that's fine. Equipment, don't have to worry about. I wanted to do something special, since it's in a treasure chest. I mean, you know what we could do? We could name this hat, have it do something special, and then have a generic version sold in stores. So, for example, just an example, we could name the hat Merlin's hat, have the stats be the same for what's sold in the stores later, but give it a little extra something here so that the player wants to uh, use it. And it's only one, so it's unique. So it does something. In which case, I would go with MP cost rate down. I could, I could see that. But how far down? 75%? Seems a little unfair, but then again, it is a unique item. Yeah, I like that, you know? And now that I'm building this for the first time, I'm thinking unique items scattered throughout the game would be kind of nice. So what am I going to name this then? I'm okay with Merlin's hat, but what about... There we go. And then we can just copy this, paste it, change it to wizard's hat, remove the trait, and then just say found in, found in liberated Naho and later. All right. So I need one more red. Is that right? I was gonna, I was gonna go the old fashioned route of having armor themed after an element to resist damage but having the accessories take that load and just giving armor unique uh, base stat increases but also traits that uh, are unique better so let's go back to heavy armor actually i'm gonna make it a shield for the battle classes i'm gonna make it a shield magic evasion That'd be pretty nice for a battle class. They're not going to have a big M defense. So being able to avoid magic occasionally would be nice. All right. And I'll give it 10% because it's a unique item. Um, again, I haven't really put stat points into these ones. So I'm kind of just going off the last shield I made, which was way up there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, a defense four is probably not going to cut it. So how about, how about 10? Uh, also, I think every heavy shield should have, or large shield should have, uh, Minus agility. Um, I think the penalty should be less and less as you go up in levels. But it should be there. Alright, so it's got a chance to evade magic. I want to give it something else. State resist. Always good. Blind. Poison. Rage. Paralyze. Or burn. We'll do burn. State resist burn. Okay. And it's a unique weapon. Uh, it's a unique shield. So it'll have a different name. But then we'll have... We'll have a standard version sold in the stores that... Uh, that uh, doesn't have the traits on here. Maybe I'll leave the state resist on the ones you can buy in stores. Yeah, I'm not quite sold on that name. But for now, it's a, it, it's a fine placeholder. Uh, let's do the generic version. And then I could just copy-paste. I don't know. Copy, paste, and then just change the name and remove there. I think it will state resist. Um, and we can just call it Solar Shield. Uh, 
So I want to change the name here. Something more unique. I didn't think it was going to be so difficult to come up with a name for a shield. Uh, Blink's shield. I, it doesn't have to be a person's shield. I guess that's my first problem, is that I'm trying to think up a name of a person. That might be too wordy, but I like it. Shield of the Midday Sun. I was going to go for... That might actually be too long. I was going to go for something like Shield of the Dawn. Or Shield of the Dusk. Shield of the Midday Sun, I like. I just, I like the sound of it. So, yeah, all right. We'll stick with that. I'll stick with that. Save. And I think that's it for the uh, treasure chests. So I think that's a good note to go out on. I think we'll end the episode here. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next time, stay safe, and God bless you.